What's up YouTube, it's Robo13 and I'm going to show you guys today how to make the new Hello World application in Xcode 4, which is the newest version of Xcode, which is the programming uh, application that you use to write apps for iOS and Apple devices. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is get Xcode 4 if you don't have that already. And uh, when you download it and get it all set up, you're going to open it just like this. This is what the new one looks like. You're going to click on Create a New Xcode Project. And I learned how to do all this from YouTube and stuff, so I will try to make this as simple as I can. Uh, you're going to want to click on the iOS thing here, section here, and go to Application. And then you want to click on Single View Application, then hit Next. Then you can name whatever you want. I'm going to name it Hello World, and hit Next, and then hit Create. And you can save it to wherever you want. I'm just going to save it right on the desktop, as you guys can see right up here, the Hello World file is right there so now it's going to build the application for you. So now this is a little different than what Xcode has looked like before so uh, you guys gonna, you might have to get a little used to it but I'll show you guys what to do uh, as simple as possible. So this is just pretty much the basic area of your uh, device and what your application is going to be based on so we don't really have to worry about too much of that currently right now so first you're going to want to go over here to this says main storyboard underscore iphone dot storyboard or you can do the ipad one but i'm going to show you guys the iphone version so you're going to click on that and now what this does is it lets you build the application itself so, so you're going to get a page like this you're just going to come up here and click the view button so you can get the organizer and stuff on the right i always just scroll this up a little bit so i can see a little bit more so now to make the hello world application you're just going to grab a button right here drag and drop it I'm going to drag and drop it right into there. So now that is the button that you're going to click to have it say hello world. And then you're also going to need a label. So I'm going to drag and drop the label onto the iPhone screen as well. Alright, you can position this wherever you want. And I'm just going to drag it right there. And then I'm going to double click. And then you can type whatever you want in. I'm just going to hit click me. Okay. And now this label, you want to get rid of the text because you don't want anything to show up just yet. So you're going to make that disappear. And then you can also you drag this back down and then just click on the background here you can change what this background looks like I'm going to make it uh, let's say flip side so now it looks like the black section of the, I the iPhone so now you just have the button and the label and that is your basic application right there so now we're going to go into writing the code for the application so after you get all this set up you're going to click on the view controller dot h okay I hope I'm not moving too fast for you guys. If I am, you can just go back and hit the pause button and then follow along doing it that way. Um, but from here, now you're going to, it says, at interface view controller colon UI view controller. Right after that, you're going to hit the bracket button and then hit enter. Okay, now you should get another bracket button right below it. And now in there, you're going to type IB outlet UI label then do the little star button and then type in hello whoops label okay and then you're going to close it with that so what this does is it tells the application that you are making a label and you're going to name it hello label so this right here says IB outlet which is which is telling the application you're going to make something and you're going to make a label UI label u user interface label and then the star means you're going to name it whatever's after the star so I'm going to name it hello label whoops forgot another L in there hello label there we go so now after you've done that just hit enter again go to the at end section Go one above it, hit enter again, and then you're going to type a dash, parentheses, IB action, close parentheses, button, one, dot, dot, colon, parentheses, ID, sender, and then close it. Okay? So now what this does is it tells it that when there's an action, there's an action that's going to take place, and that's the button. And that what the button does is it's going to send information to something. Okay, so that that's just pretty much what it means. You guys can learn all that if you read books on it and stuff. I, I, I pretty much learned all this from YouTube as well. Um, so now that's that's just getting the whole user interface set up. So now once you do that, now you go to viewcontroller.m. And now what this does is this is the actual coding part of it. Up here, the viewcontroller.h just told the uh, application what to what to send to certain areas of the code once you type it in. So now, when you get to here, you're going to get at the at implementation view controller. You're just going to hit enter twice on there. Okay, and you're going to type the same thing that you typed back in view controller.h. You're going to do a dash, space, parentheses, ib action, close parentheses, button, 
one sender oops sorry ID sender and then instead of doing the uh, the one closing thing you're going to do brackets hit enter enter so once you get there you're going to type hello label dot text equals at and then you can have it say whatever you want so I'm going to have it say hello world parentheses and then not parentheses quotation marks and then close it off okay so now what this does is this is saying oops saying to make all these capitalized so now what this is saying is that when you hit the button so IB action and then there's an action that's going to take place and it's button one and when ID sender means that it's going to send information so when it, the button is clicked when it's, the action takes place it's going to take the hello label which you told up here the hello label was the label uh, that you already put into the application you're going to have the hello labels text dot text equal whatever's in parentheses so it's going to equal hello world so it says when you click this button make this text say hello world okay okay now I have everything set up perfectly and then you're going to go back into the main storyboard iPhone storyboard and then you're gonna come over here you're gonna right click on view controller and then you're gonna get all these different options down here what you need to do is you need to see this button one right here these you drag and drop onto which areas of the device your things are so this is the uh, different applications that you already put onto the application so the different buttons and labels and stuff you have to you have to give them names you have to show them where they are so this one is button one so I'm gonna drag this over to button one and then let go and now when you let go on a button uh, the typical thing is when you when you a click so when you push a button it means touch up inside okay you need to learn how what, what each of these means but touch up inside means when you first push it one time so I'm gonna click touch up inside and now I'm gonna go up here to where it says hello label I'm gonna drag and drop this to where the label was which is right there now I'm gonna drag and drop that right there I'm actually going to make this label a little bit bigger there to there alright perfect I'm going to change the text color to white so you guys can see it alright so now after you have named everything and showed everything where it's supposed to go and written all the code you're going to change this to the iPhone 5.0 simulator right there and you're going to hit run alright and what this is going to do it's going to build your application for you and then give you a simulated iPhone um, right here so now what this will do is it will bring up your application which you have right here so it's just like the the iPhone so if I can hit back on this and you can see all the different things it's just like the reg regular iPhone but it's on your computer as a simulator so I'm going to hit on the hello world because that's a different test I'm going to hit the click me and hello world is going to pop up right there see it's pretty simple um, you just have to get a you just have to learn how to use the different coding language and stuff so you can just look it up um, I'm going to hit the back button on here I'm going to hit stop and now I'm going to show you guys one other thing did you notice that how the hello world was over on the left if you want it to be like in the center you just come over here and click alignment and I'm going to hit center alright so now I'm going to hit run again it's going to rebuild it for me it's going to pop up I'm going to hit click me and now it's right in the middle hello world alright so it's just a quick uh, run through of how to do the hello world application for Xcode 4 uh, this is Robo13 I hope you guys like these kind of videos if you do please post a comment down below and I will do more coding videos I also have a PC so I can do a uh, visual basic uh, C sharp C++ Java all that stuff uh, just let me know what you guys want to do if you need any like uh, tutorials or anything because um, I am doing programming classes at school if you guys also need help then just post a comment below and I'll be glad to help you uh, just let me know so if you guys haven't already please hit the subscribe button up above it'll help me out a lot it only takes you guys a second and it'll help you guys out also because if you ever want to see one of my videos and I post a new video it'll show up right in your YouTube homepage and you won't have to go and search for any of the videos or anything like that so hope you guys like these kind of videos please thank you guys so much for supporting me I have, I have over 2,500 subscribers at this point and uh, I can't thank you guys enough so uh, just thank you thank you thank you for supporting me and please continue to support me uh, as I make more and more videos about technology and iOS and by the way I will be in full coverage of the keynote that will be on October 4th for Apple and I'll be doing reviews on every single thing that they uh, talk about hopefully iOS 5 the iPad 3 uh, iPhone 5 iPod touch 5 so hopefully they have all that stuff, and I'll be doing a full coverage video and uh, Twitter updates on that. So go follow my Twitter down below. Also, I'll post a link in the description. And so I will see you guys next time, all right? Thanks, guys.